Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into some exciting updates from the Cache EOS team. If you're an AMD or NVIDIA GPU user or a fan of Arch-based Linux distros, this is a release you'll want to know about. So let's get into what's new in the November release of Cache OS. All right, first up, let's talk about GPU support. The latest ISO snapshot of Cache OS brings significant improvements for both AMD and NVIDIA users. On the AMD side, they've backported the THP Shrinker from Linux kernel 6.13, which reduces memory usage when transparent Assad huge pages is set to always. They've also added the AMD Cache Optimizer, which is particularly beneficial for gaming performance. And there's good news if you're using a Strix Point laptop. The release includes AMD state performance fixes, and for RDNA 3 GPUs, support has been improved. Now, if you're an NVIDIA user, you'll want to pay attention to this next part. This release addresses an issue with DLSS frame generation, ensuring it works smoothly. Plus, if you've switched over to the proprietary NVIDIA driver, Cache OS will automatically disable the GSP firmware to improve stability. As an added bonus, the release also enables the NVIDIA-powered service by default on supported laptops, which should bring some power management improvements. Moving on, Cache OS is still rocking the KDE Plasma desktop as the default environment, now upgraded to version 6.2.3. This release also adds the KDE Plasma add-ons package, which is packed with little extras to enhance the Plasma experience. And it's all bundled with a sleek theme and customizations to give Cache OS its unique look and feel. Now, handheld users aren't left out either. The handheld edition has been updated to give a heads up if you're trying to install it on a non-handheld device. And support for the ROG Ally X Gaming handheld has been improved too, so if you're using one, expect a smoother experience. Cache OS also uses the Calamaris installer, which has been improved in this release. The Calamaris now has better partitioning options with a swap partition, and they've reversed the three-way partitioning setup with Refind, which some users will find refreshing. Another helpful feature in this release is the new script that checks if you're using the latest ISO for installation. If you're using an older ISO, you'll get a warning, which is super helpful for avoiding compatibility issues. And for those of you running displays with a 5120 by 1440 by 240 configuration, the team has fixed timing problems to enhance your display experience. If you're ready to check out these new features, head over to the official Cache OS website to download the latest ISO. And for existing users, you can simply update your system by running sudo pacman. SU in the terminal, or you can use Plasma Discover. That's it for today's update. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited about with this release. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more Linux content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.